number 14. The graph of y equals all of this beautiful stuff is shown above. Here we have a long fourth degree polynomial. So, which of the following could be the value of c? Now with any polynomial, the value that doesn't have x next to it, the final value, will always be the y-intercept. Why will it be the y-intercept? Because when we hit the y-axis, the value here of x is always equal to zero. And so if I took y equal to zero to the fourth plus 10 times zero to the third plus 10 times zero squared minus 96 times zero plus c, all of these things will cancel out here, and y equals c. So here's our y-intercept, c. It's a little bit greater than negative 80, right at negative 72, and that's the correct answer.